Okay, a lot of people have been asking me, what are other alternatives to bring in your phone camera to your vMix? I did a video earlier on showing how to bring in your phone camera to vMix using Arian webcam. But at times, Arian webcam shows blank screen, it shows green screen, some doesn't even work, some it has some issues and stuff. So I'm going to show you another way, the best alternative way. This is not really an alternative way, it's actually better than um, Arian webcam for me, I don't know of you. But it's actually better than Arian webcam. So I'm doing this video to show you another way, an alternative to bring in your phone camera as webcam in your vmix free of charge it's not like a webcam that you have to pay you know um six dollars for you to be able to access the pro features this is free of charge you can bring in multiple cameras not like a webcam also that you can just bring in maximum of four cameras so you can bring 64 cameras you can bring 32 cameras and how much as you have a lot of four cameras connected you can bring it in and you can go as far as possible wherever you are it works locally it works internationally it works anyhow you want it it's really really perfect for you i'm going to be sharing you the tips on how to do that in this video stay tuned don't forget my name joseph elastic on me and this is extensive work. Okay, so without wasting your time, let's just go straight into it. What we're going to be using today is Video Ninja. Video Ninja. I showed you this Video Ninja earlier on how to use it with OBS, but it actually can work in VMix. It actually can work in VMix. So Video Ninja is it over here, Video.Ninja. You can just click on it, Video.Ninja. It's not actually downloading. They have the app actually, but the app is not really, I want to really advise you to use the app. The web interface is actually a lot better. To so use this app video.ninja and today we're going to be using what we call create a room. Create a room. The last time I showed you it was use reusable invite. You can use this to, that's if you want to keep using the same link. But create a room is what I'm going to be using today. Create a room and then enter your room name. I'm going to use extensive all my name extensive Oh okay then as that is done password you can put in password but i won't so recommend you putting a password just put that then preferred codec for your video use h2c so which is the best codec for mp4 yes this don't bother about all this about taking it you can learn that um, later on in the video which i might explain to you all right so enter the room's control center in the director's room you are the director over here but this is your um this, this is your scene over here this is the guest year orders if you want your guest to be able to year order to, inter to interact with others you can click on this guest year orders yes so the one that's done this is you can just disable this for guests to year order so guests will be able to year orders that will be pretty much better so your bandwidth won't be consumed so you can copy the link this is the link you um you're going to be sending to your guest let me just copy this go to my whatsapp and share it to myself so i can just you know share it to myself all right once you click on the link this is what you're going to see over here join room with camera share screen share with room you can share your screen also with the room which people in the camera will see it this is the perfect way also to bring your phone to your vmix but today we're going to be using join room with camera click on it you're going to give it access allow this time yes then this is going to be waiting to load okay camera two facing back let's i'm not using the back camera this time around this is my setup over here we're going to be using camera one facing front yep whatever it is this is it camera two one facing front all right so that is that then for your audio source make it default but i'm going to be using my direct audio so i'm in case you don't want the audio if you're using like a church settings you can um you can decide to say no audio so you can have your audio from your mixer but in case of where you are streaming and person is kind of abroad or person is far away from you you can select your audio default if person is using earpiece it should be the default earpiece if you are using a speaker it should be default of whatever is your system then click on everyone that's done you can test your audio and stuff we are not testing we press it i don't want it to be this portrait i want it to be landscape so i'm going to turn my phone and make it landscape instead okay so once that is done you can just click on the back over here so you can see yourself well then you can start actually then this is you over here starting and you should see yourself here as one camera camera one this is over here starting this is your camera over here that's the first one so for the first one if you want to bring it in you have different options over here you can turn off the video with person that yeah the director have turned off a video you don't want it or you can solo talk to the person you can have a lot of um a lot of things you can send message to the person you can mute the person you can angle you can transfer and stuff so we're going to be copying this link of this video alone copy this link let me angle this phone over here okay 
just okay no let me just put it in front of me i think it's a bit here yeah all right so we can copy this solo link alone just click on copy copy to clipboard go to your vmix and then go to your add inputs where you want to input it as a webcam as a web source rather so go to your browser which should be where web browser paste in the video if you want um 720 quality this is 720 quality if you want a 1080 quality you can use this instead that is 1920 by 1080 yes but i'm just going to be using um i'm going to be using 720 quality actually 1280 by 720 you can change it remember you can change it anytime you want and click on ok all right so they said invalid url this and that this and that the reason why is because of this i basically put in that as the height so click on that and click on ok you should automatically see your video here when it loads the internet is a bit off See that one okay allow this then name of the audio i think it's better this way so allow that for the um network stuff and this is my video here no lags nothing nothing going all pretty well you can see it then i'm going to also send in that particular link you can because you can have multiple phones i told you about that i'm going to send that particular link again let me where's, where's the link over here this is for my first camera copy this link send this to um the person you want to use i'm gonna be using my tab over here also so i'm just gonna click on the link on this tab let me screen record this tab so i'm just gonna click on this link and you can see it over here this is the link then i tell you join room with camera and then allow this time also okay yes then this is just um, camera over here camera facing front this is me over here then this is the audio also and i can click on start then that click on start you should see it here automatically as the second camera you see auto add guest so a second camera if it's that like turn on this guest can hear each other this phone will be able to hear this phone this phone will be able to hear these other cameras you know people will be able to talk to each other but that's also going to consume a lot of data and stuff which is i'm gonna i'm gonna actually advise you to do that when they are actually separate you know outside of that then this you can have up to 30 cameras 40 cameras 50 cameras in this thing copy this link also that's the solo link for that this is the second camera over here and i'm gonna go to add input same web browser and paste it over here yes then we have a second camera this is the first second let me put this well give it time to load yep so this is your first camera the second camera which we have one year we have one year you can have multiple we can have multiple the audio also you can have lots of audios you can have lots of audios you can have lots of cameras which is pretty much good you can see it depending on your phone um on your, on your, on your phone network and uh, the settings of your video that would actually determine how clear it will be see that this camera here is clearer than this camera here so let me just go into the settings and you can actually still let me increase the bitrate of this the exposure and stuff it's kind of too white so let me increase the iso yes i think look you, you can see it the more i'm increasing the iso is better that way because it was too white which is not really good then the frame rate 60 and um, there's no more of movement so i think 60 is better then focus if you want to focus which is not really compulsory i don't know no i don't want i should have reduced that yeah not too much exposure i think this is good yeah then you can use auto also to automatically you know lock on and stuff focus auto is automatically lock on and stuff you can use composure everything that's actually good they have other aspects of settings over here yes yeah, second camera you can add it over here third camera fourth fifth sixth seventh up to infinity literally infinity so you don't have limits you don't have limitation of one camera you can have a gazillion cameras with your phone on your vmix and that is how you do it thank you very much for watching if this video has been very useful to you please don't hesitate to like comment share to your family to your loved ones to your friends to other people you know this is actually going to be helpful for them and please and please subscribe please subscribe thank you very much for watching see you in my next video